Throws are a universal tool found in fighting games. Typically, but not always, with the intention of breaking an opponent's guard or forcing a mix-up upon the opponent. Every character in Tekken 7 has throws, however, the difficulty in avoiding the throws, as well as the reward from performing a throw, differs significantly from character to character. Throws can contain many special properties, such as causing a wall splat, a floor break, or even regaining health. They can also play an important role in positioning, with some throws on hit swapping sides, and some throws even swapping sides on block. In other fighting games, command throws are often not duckable and unbreakable if they make contact, or the throws may not have a visual tell as to how to break them if they do make contact. While most throws in Tekken 7 are duckable, breakable and give you a tell on how to break them, there are always exceptions. Some characters have throws to catch crouching opponents, or even grounded opponents, and throws such as Kazumi's stance throw, Dragonov's up forward 3 plus 4, Negan's stance throw, Eddie's handstand stance throw, Nina's back sway throw, and any throw after Armor King's rage drive connects are unbreakable. Additionally, any throw performed on a back turned opponent is unbreakable. While the startup animation for a throw generally provides a tell for how to break it, throws such as King's and Armor King's giant swing, or the starts to their chain grabs, visually look like a different break than they actually are, and a throw performed while your character is back turned will not have a visual tell on how to break it. Every character has the basic throws, which can be input as 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 4. At the cost of slowing down the startup of these throws, they can have increased reach if input as forward 1 plus 3 or forward 2 plus 4. As of Tekken 7, these throws can be broken by pressing either 1 or 2, regardless of the input. Any throw with a general startup animation, unlike Eddie's handstand stance throw I mentioned earlier, will gain a unique animation if performed on the side. If a throw connects to the left of your character, it is broken with a 1 input. If a throw connects to the right of your character, it is broken with a 2 input. Command throws all have unique inputs, and these inputs can often guide how they are to be broken. For example, a throw input that includes the 1 button, but not the 2 button, would generally be a 1 break. A throw input that includes the 2 button, but not the 1 button, would generally be a 2 break and a throw input that includes both the 1 and 2 would generally be a 1 plus 2 break. Once again, there are exceptions to this rule, such as King, Armor King and Lars's while running 2 plus 4, generally called the Shining Wizard, which despite the input is a 1 plus 2 break. We've explained how to tell the break based on the input, but we don't get to see the input when playing a match, and this is where the visual tell comes in. If the throw performed is a 1 break, you will see the left hand go forward first. It will also be with an open palm and raised higher. If the throw performed is a 2 break, you will see the right hand go forward first. The arm will not be completely straightened, and it will be much lower than the cue for the 1 break. If the throw performed is a 1 plus 2 break, you will see both hands go forward at the same time in a straight motion, with the arms extending forward further than the other breaks. If a character runs a certain distance, or has an input to do so, they can perform a tackle. Just like a standard throw, this can be broken as it makes contact by pressing 2, with the exception of Mardux that needs to be broken by pressing 1 plus 2. As your character hits the ground, the tackle can be reversed by pressing 1 plus 2. If you do get tackled, you need to perform the break based on the opponent's attacks. If they use a 2 punch, you need to block it with the 1, 
as that's the corresponding limb to block in this position. If they use a one punch, you need to block it with the two for the same reason. Some characters can perform a crossbody arm lock. This can be broken by pressing 1 plus 2 and then 2 repetitively. Some characters can also perform a crossbody leg lock. This can be broken by pressing 1 plus 2 and then 1 repetitively. Please note that Yoshimitsu's tackle is unbreakable once your character is on the ground, and Dragonov and Marduk both have unique tackles with different properties to their mix-ups. The final type of throw we're going to discuss are chain throws. Currently in Tekken 7, the only characters that have chain throws are King, Armor King, Nina, Anna, and Dragonov sort of has one. Following the initial contact of the throw, there will be no visual tell to break these throws, and the only way to escape the chain throws is to use the correct break. The throw break can be either a 1, a 2, or a 1 plus 2. It's good to familiarise yourself with common chain throw routes that certain players or characters use to help you make an educated guess. Keep in mind that 1 plus 2 breaks are less common and are often near the end of the chain throw. Throws are a tool of great significance in opening up an opponent, dealing damage or getting out of a tight spot. I hope you have found value in the video and those to come as we explore more Tekken 7.